It's Black History Month and we're talking about the role that Africans play in both literature and history from ancient Greece. To understand what I mean about Ethiopians to the ancient Greeks, go and have a look at my other videos. I explain how it's sort of a blanket term for Africans below the Nile and going west underneath Libya, the Sahara, etc. Black Africans. I'm going to give you a couple of examples of how the ancient Greeks really looked up to black Africans. They were in no way inferior. In fact, lots of Greek texts actually describe Africans with great adoration. For example, the writer, the historian Herodotus, described the Ethiopians as the most beautiful and tallest people in the world. I said in another video that the gods like Zeus and Poseidon like to take their holidays in Ethiopia away from all the drama of ancient Greece in a beautiful mystical place where they could feast. The ancient Greeks did very much describe the difference in the skin color between themselves and Africans, and there are plenty of texts that say they have dark skin. But often this was a sign of beauty. In fact, in Homer's Odyssey, when he washes up on the shores of the Phaeacian, the goddess Athena, who was looking after him, she decides that she's going to improve his appearance and make him more godlike in order to not scare these poor Phaeacians, to make him more attractive. So what does Athena do? She darkens his beard and makes his skin darker. Makes him dark-skinned, in fact. Melanchoyas. An ancient Spartan king at one point ridiculed his prisoners because they were pale. Just a little contrast there. There is a play by ancient Greek playwright Sophocles in which Zeus, the god of gods, is black. He's described as Ithos. This could be because Zeus's son by Io, Epaphos, was a black man. And where did Io end up exiled and become a goddess? The African continent. Io's descendants from Libya and Egypt, the Danaids, in order to avoid having to marry their first cousin, fled to Argos because Io had been an Argive woman. But they had been in Africa long enough that they looked like Libyans. Netflix did do a series on the Trojan War in which many black actors play certain main characters. But I think that's a video for another story. If you liked this, let me know and like and follow for more.